how are you doing today? Hope you are off to a great start. Uh, when we look up in the skies, that is the big news today in Phoenix, because we know in Phoenix, typically the weather's pretty predictable. And today it looks like it may not be as predictable and it's a little bit cooler, which of course makes everyone talk about it. We're gonna keep an eye on things. Uh, we've got a couple things in uh, our back pocket. If it is gonna be raining, we are gonna look at moving our groups that eat outside into the cafeteria and have both groups eating in the cafeteria, which uh, we've done in the past. Uh, we've just not done that due to uh, trying to get fewer kids around each other, but we've uh, got the okay to do that. So that may happen today. Uh, we're just gonna kind of keep an eye on things. Teachers, keep an eye on things for your own recesses in the morning as well. Uh, we know the rain's supposed to come, but in Arizona, that doesn't always happen. So we'll keep you as up to date as we can so that you know what the plan is for uh, how to deal with inclement weather. Hey, we don't have any subs today, which is great. We have a few people off campus, but they uh, don't need subs. Um, but we're looking forward to uh, everyone pitching in. Sometimes that has to happen, right? Hey, we, we got a new segment for you today, and this has to do with outside. Again, I'm not sure if we'll be able to utilize outside today or not, but this is called a PSA. It's a public service announcement. So uh, I'm going to turn on over to uh, two new friends of ours. Here you go. Playing on the playground is fun. Having equipment that works is even better. If we kick our basketballs or sit on them, sometimes they will look like our friends Edgar and Lumpy. Hey, the more you know. Thank you, Edgar and Lumpy, for that important information. As we start to get some new equipment, hopefully outside soon, we want to take good care of it. Hey, we've been highlighting some different folks who have made a difference. We've talked about W.E.B. Du Bois. Um, yesterday, you were introduced to, uh, I, I guess you weren't introduced to, but you, there was a song and you were asked to name the singer. And we're going to announce the winners here in a little bit. Uh, and today, in terms of celebrating some leaders for Black History Month, I wanted to talk about a local um, somewhat I would call a celebrity, and it, but it's not someone that a lot of people know. And her name is Dr. Sean Proctor. She is the first female, um, or black female, who to man a, a space flight. And uh, I don't know if you guys have been following, but in with all the space stuff taking place, uh, we've got some private companies who are sending these rockets up into space uh, a lot more quickly than what we used to do with our space shuttle program. So that was, there was a uh, space flight that went up a couple months ago, and that was manned by one of our very own local um, scientists, and her name is Dr. Sean Proctor. So I'm going to show a video that uh, highlights her. She works for South Mountain Community College, which is just probably about 10 minutes from here. So uh, pretty cool to see some people making a difference and blazing trails for others. So here you go. Learn a little bit. I became a scientist because of my father. He was a self-trained mathematician and scientist. And so he never went to college or got a college degree, but he instilled this love of math and science in me and my siblings. So I am so thankful that my father really helped unleash the inner explorer in me. The main goal of the Inspiration4 mission is to raise $200 million for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. My role is to help inspire people to show generosity and to give support for ending childhood cancer. I can't imagine any place better than the Maricopa Community Colleges to work at. I have been a professor at South Mountain Community College for 21 years. One of the things that I always tell my students is education is power. It gives you options and opportunities and it doesn't stop with your degree. Education, getting your degrees, getting certificates, it does make a difference. It's really about finding your unique strengths and your passions and then being able to share that with the world. So to all of the community college students out there, don't give up. Keep going, keep pursuing your dreams and let me tell you, they will come true. You just got to believe in it. I don't know about you, but I think it's really cool when people within our community are making a difference. So that is pretty awesome. I know that Mr. B's daughter goes to South Mountain Community College, but I don't think 
uh, takes geology with Dr. Proctor. Hey, we want to show some gratitude towards someone even part of our millennial community. And I want to highlight Miss Fariba today. I'm not sure if everyone knows Miss Fariba, but if you come to our before school or after school program, you definitely know who she is. She takes care of our kiddos and runs our program before and after school, does an amazing job, uh, works really closely with teachers, with administration to make sure uh, all the needs are met with kids. She goes out of her way to help out. She loans us stuff. She has some pretty cool toys and some pretty cool things that she lets us take advantage of. So I just wanted to say thank you because I know our families really deserve and uh, want a good, safe before and after school program. And she provides that. So thank you, Ms. Fariba, for helping make Millennial a better place. I wanted to highlight now some SOAR behavior. Uh, and I guess highlight in terms of I want to uh, celebrate it. That's the word I was looking for. So I'm going to share my screen. I have on this screen uh, three first graders. This was uh, about a week or so ago, and this is Noi, Rory, and Lucas. They were helping keep our playground clean, so thank you so much for doing that. We appreciate you making sure that Millennial stays beautiful. All right. Yesterday, we did have Principal Snyder, Triple T, Twisted Tuesday Trivia. He put together a question for you. And that question was, what was the name of the singer? And that singer uh, was, again, a trailblazer, someone who uh, I guess our kindergartners learned about earlier in the year in their curriculum. So that's pretty cool. And uh, his name was Ray Charles. Ray Charles is since passed, um, but again, play, trailblazer in terms of music, in terms of just uh, his genius. We had several classrooms put in for the prize, and as you guys know, the prize now is going to be 10 extra minutes of recess added on to your lunchtime. So teachers, please coordinate with Mr. B and myself so we can take care of that. But the winners for yesterday were, did, did you want to know, or do you want to wait till tomorrow? Oh, you want, you want to know now? Oh, okay. I guess. I guess we can make that happen. We have uh, our first winner is a second grade class. Their teacher likes soccer and uh, cheers for the wrong university, but it's Mr. Sylvia's class. Congratulations to Mr. Sylvia's class. And our second winner is a fifth grade class. Their teacher she uh, she likes to go watch rowing competitions. Her daughter's a competitive rower rower for Kansas University, and that would be Miss Olney's class. Congratulations to Mr. Sylvia, Miss Olney's classes. You guys are the winners. Thanks for playing, and we look forward to the next trivia question next week. That's all I got. I'm going to turn on over to Student Council. They're going to take it away. Uh, oh, wait, one more announcement before I do that. American Heart Association. Our deadline. Uh, the the contest, whatever we want to call it. The drive is over this Friday, so that means we've got tomorrow and Friday. Currently, our school total is somewhere around $4,000, so I'm not sure I'm going to get slimed, but I do know that we're making a difference in the community to make sure that we understand and can help improve heart health. So keep working at that. we got a little bit more time left, and we will see you around campus. Soar high, Falcons. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for the moment of silence. And now for the Millennial Pledge. I, I pledge to be a Millennial Falcon. Watch me soar. Safe, organized, accountable, respectful are my main core.